welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay, and it would mean a lot to me if you would hit that big red subscribe button down there. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today's video is going to be part story time and part vlog. Um, so we're going to get started with the story time part, and then there's going to be a little bit of vlog in the middle, and then I'm going to finish the story time. So recently I stumbled on some old GoPro footage from last summer, so summer 2016. Um, my friends and I went for a hike, but then the hike kind of went wrong, so I was not ever planning on uploading this video, but then I found it again recently and I decided that it actually would be kind of fun if I told you guys the story of what happened and uploaded it so that we can all laugh about it now because it is kind of funny what happened. So basically, my friends and I wanted to do this hike. Um, it's called the Lower Salmonberry Hike, or maybe it was Upper. I don't really know. It's one of those, but um, I'm just going to call it Salmonberry. So we wanted to do the Salmonberry Hike, which is basically just a set of abandoned railroad tracks that someone turned into a hiking trail. And it's really cool, we had done it once before, but the way we had done it was we had driven to like the starting point and hiked in a couple miles and then hiked back. Um, but we wanted to do it again, and this time we wanted to like leave one car at the starting point and then drive to another point further down the trail and then hike between them so that we could do a longer section. So the plan was that it would take one hour to drive there, and then it's a six mile hike, so it would take us approximately three hours to do that, and then an hour to drive back. So that's five hours. If we left at noon, we would be back at five to have dinner with our families. So we had told our families that we were going hiking, we hadn't really specified where and we hadn't really specified what time we would be back other than that we would be home by dinner. So now I'm going to cut to the vlog footage. This is basically just kind of a montage of some GoPro footage of the hike. It's pretty cool, I think you guys will enjoy it and then I will be back in a moment with the rest of the story. actually really cool and I wish that everything had gone according to plan so that I could do that hike again because it was so cool. So what actually happened was it took us about an hour and a half to get to the point where we left the first car and then it took us another hour to get to the point where we left the second car and started our hike from. And then the hike itself, which we were told was going to be about a six mile hike, was actually more like a nine or ten mile hike. And the guy who planned this still won't admit that, but like all of our phones had um, like fitness step tracker kind of things on them, and they all said that we had hiked 10 miles. So the hike actually took us probably about five hours, 
And then it took us another hour to drive from where we had left the first car back to where we had left the second car. And then another hour to get back to the highway close to where we had left the first car. I wasn't even really doing mental math right there, but basically we were really behind schedule. So by the time we had got back into cell service zone, it was like 7 or 8 o'clock and it was dark out. And so finally we got back to cell service and we all started texting and calling our parents like, hey, we're a little behind schedule, but we're fine. So we get a text from my friend Candace's mom because she was the first one who was able to contact her parents. And Candace's mom says, oh my God, so glad you're okay. We are about to call the cops. And we're like, whoa, wait, what? So apparently all of our parents had started freaking out because it was almost dark. And so they had all tried to contact each other and none of them knew where we were. So they were about to like call out a search party and like my parents had been gathering flashlights and stuff and they were gonna come try to find us. So apparently our parents were like freaking out because we were way behind schedule. So we all like apologize profusely and we say that we're still like two hours away. So then we end up getting home at like 11 o'clock at night because of traffic. And most of our parents have gone to bed, but my parents were still awake, even though they have to get up at 4 in the morning to go to work. So my dad was pretty calm about it. He just told me, like, don't ever do anything like that again. And he went to bed. And none of us really got into any trouble. Our parents were just really worried about us. Um, so yeah, we will never be doing anything like that again. Um, so I did not want to upload this video because it was kind of a sore subject for most of us, and especially our parents. Um, but now that it's been over a year since that happened, I actually think it's kind of funny, so I did want to upload this video. So that is the story of how we almost had to get found by a search party on a hike. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like it and hit that subscribe button down there, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! So what actually happened was, it took us about, oh, focus on my face, come on, focus on my face, oh, oh, there you go, good job camera.